Third race, Trotters are lining up behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Let's go upstairs for the call with Vance Cameron. Kemco Lexi, Windermere Alley, Striking Pride. Rich Daydreams, Incredible too, and The Nun, top of the stretch. They're approaching a start. The rough and trotting and incredible two is the first one out. Windermere Alley is second, Rich Daydreams third. The Nun from the outside fourth. Into the turn, Striking Pride fifth. And the trailer, that is Camp Cole Lexi. They arrive at the opening eight. The leaders are incredible too for the Blue Knight Hughes. Racing second is Windermere Alley. Now moving up for third, that's the Nun. Rich Daydreams is away fourth. Racing from fifth is Striking Pride. And the trailer six. That is Camco Lexi arriving at the opening station. Two and a half lengths out in front. That is incredible too in 29 and two. Racing from second is Windermere Alley on the turn third. That's the nun. Rich Daydreams is fourth. Striking Pride goes fifth and Camco Lexi is the trailer down the stretch for the first time they approach the opening half mile led by incredible two she's going to get them halfway home up and on the move in the outside there goes the nun to take over second third up the rail is windermere alley racing from fourth that's rich daydreams fifth is striking pride trailing the field camp collexi 59 and two was the opening half mile they're moving towards 5 h incredible two the leader Windermere Alley at the rail, second, third on the outside, the nun, Rich Daydreams, fourth, then fifth is Striking Pride, and the gapped out trailer, Camp Colaxi, the three quarters next, and she's widening the lead at the three quarters, Incredible Two is the leader by four. Racing into second, that is the nun. Rich Daydreams has taken over third. Moving up fourth is Striking Pride. Backpedaling fifth, Windermere Alley. And the trailer, Camp Colexi, won 29. And four was the three quarters. And it's all incredible, too, here. She's going to be an open link winner in line to the Blue Knight. Jason Hughes, incredible too. There's her stable made up for second. That is Rich Daydreams. We may need to show photo. Time for the mile in one fifty nine two. Here comes the slow-mo replay from tonight's third race, brought to you by Universal Media. Incredible two went to the front tonight, 29 and two, the half up, 59 and two. Three quarters, 129 and four, and she made distance on the field here tonight, 159 and two. That is a new race win record for this three-year-old Bay Philly by Angus Hall. Wade Baconi of Stanchel, the owner. Congratulations, Kenny Arsenal, the trainer. Jason Hughes in the bike for tonight's victory. Up for second is the four, Rich Daydreams. A photo for third. Now showing the three, striking pride for third. And the six, the none is fourth. Five, four, three, six. Unofficially in tonight's third race trot, we'll see incredible two in the Red Shores winner circle next. Well, this one here caught me by surprise because you're looking at the latest track record holder here in Charlottetown for three-year-old Trot Phillies after her performance tonight here in the third race in 159 and two. That's incredible, too, in the winner's circle. Trotting Bay Philly three by Angus Hall from the Northern Bailey Dam in credibility. A homebred of Wade Piconi of Stanchel. She's trained by Kenny Arsenal. The Blue Knight, Jason Hughes, got a catch-driving call right to the track record books tonight. 159 and 2. New track record. Three-year-old trotting fillies. Incredible, too.